Hello, Rams fans. Once again, bringing you some Rams news. Staying on top of things. News on Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup, the football wide receiver on the Los Angeles Rams, leads the league in nearly every receiving category and is presently ranked second among all players in Pro Bowl voting. Awesome, Cooper Cup. This week, PFF highlighted Cup's dominance, particularly from the slot position. Cup has 840 receiving yards from the slot position, according to PFF, while no other receiver has more than 550. Because slot receivers work in the center of the field and use the entire field to get away from coverage, they frequently catch the ball with greater opportunities for run after catch yardage. Cooper, once he catches that ball, he got good moves and, and, and he got that uh, that willingness to fight for the extra yard, that that uh, discipline, that that want to attitude, another yard, possibly a touchdown, break loose touch for a touchdown. Anyways, jet sweeps and shuffle plays that either hand the ball off or get a fast pitch to the slot as a running play put slot receivers in a good position. To be a complete slot back, you should make at least one tackler miss every time you run the ball, exactly like a running back. And he does. Cooper Cup, he usually makes one or two pl players uh, miss the tackle after he catches the ball, just like a running back. Cup leads slot receivers in yards by a wide margin and you can guarantee he gets a lot of it after the catch yes you can moving on with more news vote for your favorite los angeles rams players to get into the nfl pro bowl so i'm going to cover on how you could vote for uh your favorite player to make the uh, pro bowl or to vote for players who you think should be in the pro bowl what are you waiting for? If you haven't voted for your favorite LA Rams players to make the Pro Bowl, the election is already underway with ballots being cast and results being recorded. But don't count on the votes of other fans to determine whether Aaron Donald or Matthew Stafford will receive the prize. Instead, take command and vote. Notes from the article continues to say to do so like in order to vote simply go onto the nfl pro bowl voting website and cast your vote if you do not already have an account with the nfl.com you all you have to do is enter your email address and create a password for your account that's all there is to it and you're ready to vote so you go to the nfl uh, dot com website and uh, enter an email address and a password make up create a password and then you'll be ready to vote but there's also another way to vote it's on Twitter but what about using Twitter to cast your vote that re uh, that remains the case if tweet votes are cast during the last two weeks of voting November 30th December 16th that's the time frame you can vote on Twitter, November 30th to December 16th. You must do the following in order for your vote to be counted immediately on Twitter. Number one, designate the first and last name of the player, Aaron Donald. Number two, state the player's official Twitter handle, like with a at symbol, and then Aaron Donald, say you were going to vote for. Her. And then his Twitter handle has a 97 after his name. Number three, create a hashtag including the player's first and last name. So it would be hashtag Aaron Donald if you were going to vote for Aaron Donald on Twitter. All three of these met methods must include the hashtag 
hashtag Pro Bowl vote. All in one word. As a reminder, real player selections will be made based on fan player and coach consensus votes. Each group vote, each group's vote will count for one third of the vote in deciding which NFL player will be picked for this year's Pro Bowl. The NFL has a unique voting system that includes votes from fans, coaches, and players. That's cool. The fan vote will be open until December 16th, 2021. On Friday, December 17th, NFL players and coaches will vote. Have a good day.